Hey, Jesse here. I'm back for another LEGO Marvel 2022 set news video for you guys. And this time, I'm going to show you guys a new Infinity Saga set for the lineup. And that is Thor's Hammer. It's at 76209. It ages 18 plus. It has 979 pieces and one minifigure. And this set is going to come out on March 1st, 2022, which is next month. And this is going to be a 100 US dollar set. So... This set is so freaking awesome, and holy crap, look at this thing. So, this reminds me of the mock designs right there, but this is a nice looking set right here. So, I heard that some people said it is based off of the Target website. Well, it just showed up from the Target websites. Well, I saw this thing at Lego Shop at home, so you can't pre-order this if you want to right here. So, yeah, this is a nice looking set. So, Here's the front of the box right here. So I am going to show you guys each picture from the set itself. So here we have the front of the box right here. And it reminds me of the Daily Bugle box design with the blue pieces and bricks on the bottom. So yeah, that is pretty nice. And we have Marvel Studios, the Infinity Saga, Thor's Hammer right there for the top part. And I like the rock stand right there on that bottom part right there. And you can't put it on the stand if you want to. I like the thunder and lightning detailing on Mjolnir. So, yeah, that is pretty nice looking. I totally like the front of the box design. And it looks so freaking cool looking. And here we have the back of the packaging now. We have some pictures of Mjolnir right there from the 2011 Thor movie. So, yeah, that is really nice. And shows you how you can't put some of the items right there inside of the hammer right there. And shows you how long and big this thing is and we do get an exclusive Thor minifigure for his 2011 movie look so yeah I totally like the back of the box design right there and here's the actual set itself right here so you do get Thor right here on the left bottom corner and we do get the little item holder right there the little Asgardian item holder right there if you call it right there and you do get Mjolnir itself right there. So I totally like Mjolnir right there. So it is like the main build of the set. And dear God, look how big this thing is. It looks, reminds me of the Hasbro gear look right there that we all know from the past year. So, but it is in Lego. So that is so cool looking. And I like how it does come with a rock stand right there that says Lego the Infinity Saga Mjolnir. So that is pretty cool looking. Same thing that they did with the Infinity Gauntlet and the 18 plus helmet collectible lineups. So yeah, same thing that they did with the helmets for Marvel and Star Wars. So that is so pretty cool looking. Also for a little bit for DC. So yeah, I totally like how that turns out right there. You can't put it like this right there if you want to, or you could just play around with it a little, but a little easy right there if you guys don't want to break it. So it is a 18 plus set for collectors. So I can't wait to store this thing right there. So I like the handle and the red strap right there in black. So yeah, that is so freaking nice looking. And also for the other image, as you can see, here we have the actual picture of this part of Mjolnir where you can't store that little item holder inside right there so you can't put it inside of Mjolnir if you want to if you guys may or may not have any space left to display it so yeah I totally like how you can open that compartment so that is so nice looking so yeah it is so freaking cool looking right there I like how you can put that inside right there so that is so freaking nice looking I tell you like how you can't do that and as for that last image here we have the display itself and we do get a new Thor minifigure so let me talk about Thor first and then the items for last. So here we have Thor himself. Now this is a brand new and exclusive version of him. Now this is Thor from his Marvel Studios Thor 2001 first movie look. So it is so nice looking. I like how Lego is going back in time for the previous MCU films from phase one for the saga. And that is so nice looking. He does have the same look of Mjolnir in that Lego minifigure scale look. And he has that same four plus style juniors capes in red without one hole right there and the face print is from his crappy drunken alcoholic bro thor look from that new crappy asgard set the end game battle and the benatar set from the last year's way from over the summer so yeah that is pretty cool looking i like the detail for the hair piece well he's in that tannish color well a little bit blonde well 
I feel like it's accurate or inaccurate to me, but it is what it is. What were they trying to make it in that 2011 look? So also, I wish they gave him some leg printing right there instead of the plain black legs every freaking time. But still, this is a nice figure right there. But well, it is really nice. Well, I don't mind they reused the drunk face look. Well, they could just change it up for the face print is right before he has the thunder you power since Ragnarok but still and as for the item rack I want to call it it looks pretty cool looking so it is a small side build in the set in the middle we have the infinity gauntlet right there that is the same one from the infinity war set from that old Benatar set in four years also in the compound battle set from 2019 it also shows up in 2020 too. So that is really nice. We do get all six Infinity Stones right there. Well, that is the scene where Hela knocks it off, which is the fake Infinity Gauntlet from the Asgardian Vault in Ragnarok. So that is pretty cool looking. And we do get, on the left side, we have the Eternal Flame right here, which is pretty cool looking. And on the right, we have the Tesseract right here, that Minecraft minifigure skill head from that Hydra Stomper What If set from last year. So yeah, this that is pretty cool looking. Well, I don't mind that piece at all. Well, it is pretty cool looking. So we have that Minecraft minifigure head style for the Tesseract on the right side, but that is so nice looking and pretty cool looking. So there you guys have it. All the pictures for the new Lego Marvel Thor's Hammer set for next month. And this is a pretty cool looking set. And honestly, I'm going to buy this. Well, hopefully I will get a chance to, but if not, I'll get this for my 19th birthday. Well, just needed some time right there. So if you guys are a Thor fan like I am and a fan of Chris Hemsworth, you can get this set and you can add it to your collection. And I would love to add this in my collection if I have enough space right here. So anyways, this is a pretty cool looking set. And I will buy this set and it is so freaking nice looking for the lineup. So nothing much to say, but that's all I've gotten so far for the lineup. So that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell, the save button, link in the description, and Hulk smash that comment section down below. And tell me in the comments what you guys think about this set for the lineup. I'll see you later. I'll you.